Hi guys, welcome to Caternix Corner. So in this video, I wanna talk a little bit about heating plates. Uh, the type of heating plate that you would place inside a brooder uh, to help in rearing your chicks. Uh, normally in my brooders, I use a 100 watt uh, incandescent bulbs or a 175 watt uh, infrared bulb. Um, but I had heard a lot of good things about these heating plates. Uh, one that you, know, you can save a considerable amount of money as far as your electric bill is concerned and also that uh, it helps the chicks with the day night cycle because they're not you know subject to a uh, 24 hour continuous light on them so uh, what I did was I contacted John over at Premier One Supplies and asked him if he would send me a, a unit out to uh, test out and review here on the channel um, so what they did was they, they sent me out, um, it's called a heating plate for chicks. This is the medium size heat plate. Uh, they had three different size uh, heat plates uh, in stock, a small, a medium, and a large. I believe the small measured 12 by 12. The, uh, the one they sent me is 16 by 16. And then the larger one I believe was uh, 20 by 24, somewhere in that range, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, so basically, here is the box that it came with. Um, it just says an innovative design from Holland, a heating plate designed for chicks. This one is the medium size. It measures 16 by 16. Inside the uh, box, you get a uh, manual on how to use the uh, heating plate. Also comes with a package of four legs and then the heating plate itself. So here's a, a shot of the heating plate, top and bottom. And it looks like it's got some uh, little spring-loaded uh, retainers uh, for the legs. So let me go ahead. Um, I have talked to a few people uh, before about using these and what's the, uh, the best method to use them. And pretty much everyone agreed that you want to set it up uh, to where the chicks, the heating plate is just high enough to where the chicks back is almost touching the heating element itself. Um, so basically, I guess all you do is depress this uh, retainer, slide the legs in. And then uh, we'll go ahead and turn it over and adjust it. Um, everything uh, that I've read in the manual and what I've talked to people, they say you want to adjust it with one end of the heating plate a little bit lower than the other end, the forward end, I guess it would be. And that is, I thought it was for like a, a heat gradient. But uh, from what I understand that according to the manual you want to adjust it so uh, the larger chicks uh, have they can get out of the the low end of the heating element so basically that's it this end being the lower end this end being the higher end uh, looks like it's got a little uh, LED indicator uh, for when it's on uh, the manual also states that uh, the energy draw from this is like one third of your normal wattage from like a um, 100 watt light bulb. Um, they're, they're saying that uh, this one draws 33 watts of power. So it's, it's gonna save you, um, you know, a little bit of money as far as uh, energy consumption is concerned. Okay, so what I did was set up the heat plate in one of my brooders and plugged it in uh, and let it come up to temperature. Uh, I let it run like that for probably 10 or 12 hours. And I also had a, a fresh batch of chicks in the incubator. So as I was pulling them out of the incubator, I was placing them in the brooder. Uh, and it was like they almost instinctively knew to run underneath the heating plate. I don't know if that's, you know, uh, an instinct from like crawling underneath a, a mother hen or what, but um, they seemed to take to it right away. They were coming and going as they needed. Uh, you know, they'd come out and eat and drink and whatnot, and then go back under. Um, 
So it, it seemed like it was doing a really good job. Um, I let the, I used it for about a week or so uh, with the chicks, and I did have to adjust it one time um, following the book's manual. They say about once a week you want to make an adjustment with it. Um, also, uh, Premier One sent out this cover that I guess is made to keep the chicks from jumping up on top of the... Uh, the heating plate once they get a little bit larger um, but I really don't think I'm gonna need that um, by the time by the time the chicks are old enough to actually jump up on top of this uh, heating plate they're usually feathered out enough for me to you know pull them out of the brooder all together and put them in their grow out cages so while that's a good idea and if you you know if you're up north in a, a cooler climate um, the cover might be handy if you need to keep your chicks you know under heat for a little bit longer period of time so that was a, you know, a nice uh, addition that they sent out. Um, I also noticed on their website that they have a uh, regulator that you can plug into the wall and then you plug in the uh, heat plate to that regulator. That way you can regulate um, how hot the heating plate's actually getting. Um, I did not do that. I just ran it you know, straight into a wall outlet and it seemed fine. Like I said, the chicks were coming and going like they knew exactly what to do. Um, so, you know, I'm going to go ahead and give this a try for a while. It seems like a good idea. I really like the idea that um, the chicks and my adult birds um, now aren't going to be disturbed by having a constant light on them all the time. Um, I like my my breeders and my grow outs to have a, you know, a period of darkness that's actually dark. Um, with the brooders inside my, my quail room, uh, the lights from the brooders was pretty much lighting up the entire shop. So this is going to be a, you know, a good addition. I'm going to try it out, probably give it, you know, another month or another hatch or so to run through this thing, see how well it does. Uh, but I'll probably actually, if it works out good, actually order a couple more uh, and get away from the heating lamps altogether. So guys, um, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description uh, for Premier One Supplies where you can go there and check it out. But they're reasonably priced and I think that the, the savings that you're gonna get by um, transitioning to these versus you know, a heat lamp, uh, it's gonna pay for itself you know, fairly rapidly. Okay, so I hope you found this video useful. Uh, I'll give you a little bit of insight into heating plates and how they work. Uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do so. It helps me out. You can get notified of any new and upcoming videos. I want to say thanks again, guys, and we'll see you on the next one.